Hi guys, my name is Sebastian from Shonko Music and I want to show you how I control my hydrosynt with my MPC-1. So the webcam on my MPC-1 has a fixed focus, so it's not really sharp, but I hope you understand and know what I mean. This is the end result, what you see here. I prepared two videos to show you. And what you see is a Q-Link edit menu, which the parameters I choose to control from my MPC to the Hydra Synthesizer. So 16 parameters with the right names. How we do this? So we first start with an empty project. So we use this display button here and then we see a new sequence. We change the program drum kit to MIDI and we rename track one to Hydra. Then I rename also my MIDI program to Hydra. It's a better overview for me. Then I choose the MIDI output option. Everything is connected via MIDI USB. And I select my Hydra synth. Then we have the Q-Link buttons and functions. So we change this to the program mode to control the synthesizer functions. So you choose here the program mode. So now you have a little overview, it's fine. You can select Q-Link, edit to go to the Q-Link edit menu or you can choose the menu button, also Q-Link edit. Now you have the overview of 16 parameters, four sections, four knobs. I want to control filter one and two, oscillator and macros. So I choose knob one, section one, activate the learn function and change my filter one cutoff value. Now I select knob 2, knob 3, knob 4 and so on. Knob 4 is my delay, dry and wet. So filter 2 cut off, I select section 2, knob 1, change the value. I do this for each parameter. Each parameter you are changing has a fixed CC number. Each, each CC number has its own name. So these are not the names on the synthesizer, but we can change that and this is absolutely wonderful. So here you see my ring modulator and now on section four, the last four knobs, I want to address my macro functions from, from one to four from a hydro synthesizer. So when we finish that, you can deactivate the learn function and you go to the program edit. And in the program edit menu, you can see each parameter you can control. These are up to eight pages. And now here's a little overview, the fixed address values, but wrong names. To change the name, I know filter one cutoff is on page five. So I select that and now you can edit and change the name. Press a pencil icon. Here you can change the name and I choose filter one cut off. Now you can see maybe filter one cut off. I deactivate the edit menu and we want to see this is okay. And when you touch the Q link knob one on section one, you see a little preview window and now you see filter one cut off and on knob two, sound control 2 because we don't rename it. So this is very perfect when you have more projects, more gear or stuff like that for a better overview. So this is my second video and now we see the Q-Link edit menu, the overview, 16 parameters. And every parameter has its own right name. So section 1, knob 1, filter 1, cut off is CC74 sound control 5. You cannot change that, but we change only the name. And the name is important when you use the Q-Link preview, when you touch the Q-Link button. And I prepared a little track for that, for my new project. And you see it here, this is my project, forward A, my sequence 2, it's called forward. Track 9 is my Hydra synthesizer. This is a patch number for my MIDI program, Hydra A86.
and in the preview you see filter one cutoff, filter one resonance. We go to the little overview window, press the button, hold it down, Q-Link edit, we are in the Q-Link edit menu and you see all parameters. So I want to show you what I mean and how you can control. I deactivate my background sound. And now you see I change filter one cutoff. Delay dry and wet, reverb dry and wet, and so on. Oscillator two, volume. Oscillator three, and my ring modulator. Filter one cut off. Filter two cut off. So you see, it's very simple, maybe not 100% intuitive. But when you know how to do that, it's very, very, very helpful. So you can do that for a lot of synthesizer and for each project you want to use without a PC, only to produce with the MPC-1, with external gear, you can use that way. And in that case, it's very helpful for me for this track to automate the parameters I want to control and to finish my song. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wish you the best and hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.